my god, it's been so long. It's been two months and I hate that. I hate that it's been so long since I filmed a video. So I'm going to give you guys a really big air hug because, I mean, it's needed, right? It's been that long. So let's get a big, big air hug in there. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so I really missed you guys. Um, and yeah, I mean... I I've just been so busy, you guys have no idea. I now have a complete full-time job, which I had a full-time job before, but now it's like not nannying, it's doing what I wanna do, you know, in a career, um, and I'm commuting. So I work about an hour and 20 minutes away from where I live, um, and that's not including traffic. There's often a lot of traffic. So just commuting and working full-time has just been really, really, not hard, but it's just been taking up a lot of my time, basically. So. That has been why. I mean, I just I hate that it's been so long, you guys, though. I love making videos. I love doing this. Um, but, you know, it's not my full-time job like it is for a lot of other people. So I do have to work. Uh, so I try to do these basically in my free time. And, um, yeah, if you guys have any tips for me, like, so many people work full-time and have, like, families and are able to, do, like, do YouTube, like, full-time, too. And it's just kind of crazy to me. Like, the Bubblegum Princess, major respect because... She has a full-time job, I believe, and a family, two kids, and she produces videos like crazy. So I would love any tips that she has because I know you, I know she watches sometimes. So if you guys um, shout, you know, shout her out, let her know that I said something about her in this video because if she has any tips for managing my time better, I don't know. I would love to know so I can like you know get on making more videos for you guys because I do love doing this. I do love beauty still. Um, I do spend way too much money on makeup still. And yeah, so I'm going to stop rambling because a lot of people hate when I have super long intros. So I'm going to get started into my favorites that I've been having recently. Um, and there's a lot here. So I'm going to try to just get through them and not talk about them like a crazy amount like I tend to do. And then I also have some random favorites at the end, like a movie that I really liked, um, a bag that I'm going to show you guys. And I think that's it. So yeah, so let's get started. So I will start with some of the products because I have four in total to talk about. So I will talk about the combo I'm wearing right now. I really love this combination. It is the Urban Decay 24-7 um, Light on Lip Pencil and Naked with the NARS Lipstick in Anna. So I got this because it's been hyped up like crazy. I mean, everyone and their mom has talked about these lipsticks, so I wanted to try it too. And I do like it. Um, I like this color a lot. This has been kind of the color I've been gravitating towards. And I just, it's really nice. I, I will say that I don't know if it's worth $32. If I could go back, I'm not sure I would still get it. I mean, I probably would because I do really like it. But the thing is, is that if you have tried the Maybelline Matte Line um, lipsticks, these ones that come in, we'll ignore that stupid ugly sticker they put on it because it was on sale, but they look like this. And I think that these are amazing. And I just don't think that maybe you technically need this. Especially if you want a color similar to, um, it's called Lust for Blush, which is like my all-time favorite. This is very similar to that, just a little bit darker. Um, but it's still gorgeous, and it's still a favorite, and I still do love it on top of this. But um, that's just like my little two cents about this lipstick, which I, I feel like that was like a mixed review, but... Anyways, um, these are the, these are matte, these are two different, I don't even know why I started that, like I was going to put them together, but they're, they're completely different brands. This is the Ulta Matte Lip Cream, and striking, love this, I picked up a really dark one from them too, and the dark one I liked, but, um, I don't know, I just prefer this one. This one is, it's just, I'll swatch it for you guys actually, it's just a gorgeous color, although it's like never going to come off my hand now that I swatch it. But it's just really, really pretty. I hope you can see that. I love wearing this just all the time, honestly. It just goes with, like, every eye look that I wear. I'm going to try to take it off. Um, and it's very matte, obviously. It stays on for a very long time. Like, through dinner and everything, it'll stay on. Um, you probably do have to reapply it a little bit if, like, you're eating, I don't know, like, oily food. But it still stays on pretty well. So, I really do love that. And they have, like, a bunch of colors. Um, this one is a similar color but it's a little bit brighter on the lips. This one kind of dries darker than it looks in the tube a little bit. This one is pretty close to the bottle. Um, this is in Prague, and I'll swatch this one too. I feel like I'm kind of running out of this one. I think I am. Um, that's what that one looks like, and these are just gorgeous colors, like with a tan and for spring and summer. They just look really, really nice. So, let me know. Okay, um, this is a blush. I think I've talked about this before, but I had to mention it because I still love it. This is NARS Madly. Um, this is literally, you guys, like, 
the only blush I've been wearing the past two months. Uh, I just love it. It just goes with everything. And I used to be super into really pinky blushes, but I have found that like this blush is where it's at. I just really like it. And I'm really glad I bought it. So yeah. Um, okay, this foundation, I don't know if I've ever talked about this or not. I think I've used it in videos. I think. Uh, I don't know if I've talked about it though. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Holy macaroni. Is that the right term? Macaroni? Holy macaroni. Um, this is like the best foundation ever. Literally, you guys, holy grail. Holy grail status. Like, it makes your face look flawless. Like, I'm breaking out actually right now um, around my mouth and a little bit like on my nose. And this just covers it so well. It's actually crazy. Like, how. It's, it's not even just the coverage, like obviously the coverage is amazing, but it also just makes your skin look like radiant and just really pretty. Like this is just a really, really good foundation that I highly recommend. Like I, this is my second, no, this is my third bottle that I bought of it. Oops. <laughs> um, this is my third bottle that I bought of it and I just love it. So yes, check this out. Get a sample if you haven't already because it's amazing. Okay, this is a concealer. This is the Master Conceal by Maybelline. This is all I've been using for the past few months too, under my eyes. I thought this shade was a little light, and it probably is. The next shade I will get will probably be the next one, whatever is after this one. This is the one in the light, I believe. Yeah. Um, but it's still really good for under your eyes. This is a really good concealer at the drugstore. Uh, does increase, just looks really, really good. Very full coverage. It's just awesome if you need a really good concealer for under your eyes. I would highly recommend that one because it's good. That's all I can really say about it. I mean, lasts all day, covers the darkness, really good. Okay, this is the NYX Angel Veil. Um, I love this as a primer. I mean, it's primer, obviously, and I love it. Um, it smooths out your skin really well. It's affordable. I think it is around like 10, 10 or $12, but I mean, that's... That's not bad for primers. I mean, primers, good primers can be expensive. And this one fills in my pores really well, which is what I look for in a primer because I feel like I have huge pores. So this really helps like like fill them in, makes my makeup stay on all night. Just really good. I recommended this to a friend and she said she went to Ulta to get it and they were telling her that they're like always sold out of it. Um, so I think that also speaks for how good it is. Um, yeah, good stuff. Okay eyeshadows. I have two palettes to talk about. Okay, this one has been a favorite. I've talked about so much, like, so much, but it's just, I, it's literally, you guys, like, the main one I've been using. Um, I love this shade right here, which I don't know if, I guess these don't have names, or they did have names in, like, an insert that you pulled out, which was stupid, so I couldn't tell you the name of it, but it's the one right underneath the green, and it's just the perfect crease color. Like, I use it basically every day in my crease. It's just gorgeous. Um, and just all of these shades, just all of them are just so good. So yeah, I kind of want to get the second chocolate bar palette, but I've heard mixed reviews on it, so I'm not sure, but I just love this one so much. I feel like I would really like that one too, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys have tried it. Um, this is the Tartlet palette. I don't know if I've talked about this either. It's been so long, you guys, that I don't even know what I've talked about when I haven't talked about, and I apologize for that. I know I did use this in the Valentine's Day, uh, tutorial, Get Ready With Me, that I did, and I love it. I think I use this. Oh my gosh. I use this, right? Oh my god, did I not use this? I think maybe I didn't use this. Ah. <laughs> Anyways, this is really, really pretty. Just perfect um, pinky purpley shades. They're all matte, obviously. Oh, this is just really good. I mean, and like matte shades, like pink, purpley shades, purpley matte shades are my favorite matte shades to wear. And this just has a combination of them. And I think this would also be a really good palette to wear um, for brides because they're just very like those blush colors. And I think this would be a really good palette to have if you're like a makeup artist that does weddings and stuff, which I have actually started getting into. I'm doing my friend's wedding for her, my friend's wedding, I'm doing my friend's makeup for her wedding um, in May. And so yeah, so the next reason I purchased these couple things were mainly for the wedding, but obviously because I wanted to try them. Um, so I will say that like I'm I'm good at putting makeup on other people. I, I like to think so. Um, I've done her makeup a few times. She always really likes it. But the one thing that I struggle with on other people just a little bit is eyeliner. And that's because everybody's eye shapes are so different. And I can do eyeliner really, really well on myself. It takes me a second. Like I have the wing eyeliner done in a second. There, it's very rare that I will mess up and have to like take it off and redo it. I've gotten to a point where I'm really good. 
not bragging, just, <laughs> just saying, but for other people, it's a little bit difficult because everyone's eye shape is so different, eyeliner looks so different on other people, um, and it took a long time for me to get to a place with my own eyes that I can do really great winged eyeliner. So that's kind of the, the little struggle that I have when doing makeup, and I, I hate like, I hate that because, you know, people are, like, paying me to do the makeup and I can't, if I can't, if I can't perform, like, that doesn't look good. So, I've basically been, like, doing a lot of research on eyeliner, on eye brushes, eyeliner brushes, because I think that is where, like, what you need to kind of invest in and, and, and look at because, like I said, everyone's eye shapes are different. And I think that it, it really takes, when you're doing it on other people, like, a really fine brush like a really fine small tapered eyeliner brush so I found a really really good one um this one's by Sephora and it doesn't oh yeah it does it's the pointed liner eyeliner precision 92 and if I'll try to get close so you guys can see just how small and pointy it is it's very very small brush um bristles and they're tapered up to a point so this works amazingly I haven't tried it on other people yet but I, I think it's gonna work really well because just on me like the line is so thin and just you just have so much control with this kind of brush um, I've used liquid eyeliner I used to use the Sigma um, eyeliner brush and it's a lot thicker than this so I've tried a lot of things and it, they're just I just feel like they're too big a lot like the, the just the brushes are too big the eyeliner felt tip felt tips are better but like eyeliner brushes are just it's just like hard to do on other people if that makes sense so I don't know if you're a makeup artist or even if you have a hard time doing eyeliner on yourself I really highly recommend this brush to use with gel eyeliner. Obviously, it's what you would use it with. I use it with the MAC one um, because it's really good. And I think that this will help a lot with that, that, that little trouble that I was having because, yeah, that's like you want to have good eyeliner on your eyes. Kind of completes the look. Um, so, yeah, so I bought that mainly for that but also for me. But this will definitely be going in my kit because it's just awesome. Okay, this is the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light. No, is that what it's called? Yeah, Shade Light Palette. Everyone's talked about this too, like, too much probably. You guys are probably sick of hearing about it. Um, but I just wanted to just shout it out. I got this also mainly for the wedding um, and for future stuff I hope to do. And I just thought this would be really good to have because it has an array of shades for different skin tones. I mainly use the first two because I'm lighter. And then um, the yellow and this color to highlight. Really good highlight shades as well really nice. I, they're really pigmented. Um, and if you're looking for a good contour palette, I would definitely look into that. Good stuff. Okay. Eyebrows. I don't, I don't know if I've mentioned this either. This is the eyebrow Anastasia duo soft brown. I've been getting a lot of compliments on my eyebrows, which is like a big deal for me because I feel like my eyebrows took a long time to get to this point, but I've really been liking them. And, uh, I think it has to do a lot with this. So it's just really good. My eyebrows don't really need the color so much, but they're very sparse. Like my eyebrows are pretty much a good color to match my hair. Um, they're not lighter or anything really, but they just are very sparse. So this really helps at filling them in and it does add a little bit of color and it comes with two shades too, which I like. It has a light one and a dark one. And so like I lightened my hair up recently, I got highlights. So I was using the dark one, but I just started using the light one. So I like that. I like that I don't have to go out and get another freaking eyebrow powder. Last thing for beauty I want to talk about are the Elizabeth and James Nirvana perfumes. Oh my god, I got the black and white one that come in a little roller ball because I wasn't sure I wanted to spend however much it is. It's a lot on the regular one. I have a really hard time like spending money on perfumes. I just feel so guilty when I do it. Um, so I don't really have that many, honestly. So I don't know. I just decided to get these. Love them. Love them together. Love them separate. They're awesome. And I've already used a lot. I mean, I've only gotten these like last week and they're already down here, which doesn't look like a lot from the camera. It's a lot. Anyways, I really like these. I highly recommend them. Okay, last couple favorites. Um, this is a fashion item. I'm not sure if I've showed this in the video either. Gosh, I'm so sorry. I just like can't remember. Um, it's just been so long. Um, but this is a bag that I got from Hoot Look and it's from Rebecca Minkoff and I don't know what it's called. Oh my gosh, that's kind of something you probably would want to know. So I don't know if it says it in here. It probably doesn't. I have no idea, you guys. I'm so sorry. I think it was a quilt or something. That's all I got. Um, but I love the chain. I like that it's kind of obviously Chanel inspired. I mean, anything, any bag that's quilted, people are going to say it's Chanel inspired because Chanel started it. So it is Chanel inspired, I guess. But I don't have money to pay for a Chanel and Rebecca Minkoff is still a really nice luxury handbag designer, but they're a little bit affordable, more affordable. And I love the color. Um, 
love the strap. I just really like it. I think it's a very classy looking bag that I've got a lot of wear out of. So I wanted to mention it. Um, and Rebecca Minkoff is always on Hot Look. Check out Hot Look if you haven't already because they're always on there. Um, I wouldn't say always, but they're on there usually. I'd say like once a month maybe. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe like once every couple months. Um, and that's where I get my Rebecca Minkoff bags. Okay. Sorry. My phone's sexy. Okay. Last favorite I just wanted to mention was the Fast and Furious 7 movie. I saw that this last weekend. And oh, you guys. Okay. So, I thought my camera died. So, I've seen all of them, which you might not, I don't know, guess, <laughs> but I, I like, I really like them. Um, I mean, obviously, Paul Walker is amazing. So, yeah, I've seen all of them, which might be a little bit of a surprise, but I really like them. I think, I mean, they can be a little bit cheesy, like the seventh one, especially, I felt like had some cheesy moments. Um, and it's obviously so unbelievable, it's crazy. But I just really like them and I, they're entertaining and I loved, loved, loved the tribute that they gave to Paul at the end. I thought that they did it so well and I mean it's emotional, like you get very emotional and if you've seen all of them you have you feel kind of like this attachment to the movie and the franchise and to him and so it was, it was good. The way they did it I thought was very well done and yeah, you guys should see it. Um, if you haven't or if you're into them or whatever. I mean even if you're not I really don't think that you have to have seen the last ones to enjoy this one on its own. Um, the story does kind of pick up from the last one, but you know, I mean, I think it's it's really a completely new story. Um, they're basically just trying to get some bad guys, so really, it's not that important to see the last ones if you haven't already. And if you're a Paul Walker fan, I mean, you should definitely check it out because it's just they just did it so well, and yeah. So I think that's it. I really hope you guys liked this video. Again, I'm sorry it's been so long. I will try to make more videos soon. I do plan to make another one this weekend because I have a new curling iron that I want to talk about with you guys that I'm very excited about. So stay tuned for that. And make sure to thumbs up and subscribe and comment to me. I love talking to you guys, so make sure you leave a comment. And I think that's it. I will see you guys in my next video.